Yo, yo, what is going on, Cover One crew? Welcome back to the show. Hope everybody is good. Good football on Sunday. We still got a game here on Monday Night Football. It's going to determine a lot of contests for your fantasy leagues. No question. What are we talking today? Keep or trade. Players we got to keep. Players we got to trade. Buy low, sell high. We got to fix our rosters if there is potential opportunity. Or if you're looking to, you know, stack your roster that much more, there is potential here as well with a lot of these players, especially if you're struggling in the win column. There are players that we could sell high right now to revamp the entire higher roster make it more balanced and give you more point productivity first on my board is james cook buffalo bills squish the fish week was very nice and i told y'all man this bills team is different you get what did i say this past off season you give josh allen a viable run game in this offense will be different james cook i was a massive supporter going back to his time at uga told y'all even before he was a buffalo bills product i love me some james cook right now he is killing the roi plus 11 man rank number 13 right now was the adp running back 24 james is absolutely tearing it up in this bills offense fantasy points almost at the 60 point threshold 52.6 right now the only limited productivity marker right now is finding his way into the end zone this will eventually Eventually come in this offense as the Bills continue to run the football with extreme, you know, presence on the field. This team is very different, y'all. Running those 12 personnel uh, double tight end sets. You gotta love it, man. They're gonna continue to be that bully on the field. Right now, James Cook's trend is moving in the right direction. His value is increasing on the daily. So definitely, you gotta keep a James Cook or sell him high. This is the advice I give you right now because, I, okay, running backs are very tough to have right now, but Likely you got James Cook a little bit lower in your fantasy draft, so which means you likely have other running backs. So you could uh, sell high on a James Cook, round out your roster with uh, better wide receivers, better tight ends perhaps, even though tight ends are crapshoot, but you could get better wide receivers for a James Cook, but I totally recommend keeping him at this point unless you absolutely have to sell high on this man. Jalen Waddle, Waddle time. I mean, he is uh, killing us right now. There is no sugarcoating this in an offense like the Miami Dolphins which is so high octane. Jalen Waddle is just not fitting the bill right now. Minus 46 on the ROI, and his trend is down. Do not like it whatsoever. I am a massive Jalen Waddle supporter. Waddle, Waddle time needs to come back. But Tyreek Hill has just taken everything to the bank when it comes to that point productivity. The Bills stifled this offense very well this past week. 26.8 points. Yes, Jalen Waddle missed the contest due to injury, so this would have been likely in the 30s and would have raised his rank uh, better than 57. Wide receiver 57 right now, it is not good. But for me, for all intents and purposes, his stock will definitely increase with this offense, barring any health issues. But for me, you can still trade a Jalen Waddle based on name cachet. So I still believe that there is better opportunity for us to get value still out of Jalen Waddle. You can keep him because I understand keeping a great product like a Jalen Waddle. But if you get a trade that, uh, you know, you can fly out there to another manager, I would definitely recommend trading a Jalen Waddle right now to help revamp your roster. Michael Thomas, New Orleans Saints. His ROI is minus three. It's not bad. I mean, he was, what, wide receiver 42 ADP, rank 45 right now, and he has been, you know, up and down. Let's call his trend, you know, in the middle. Up and down right now. Very safe floor for you when it comes to a Michael Thomas. Anywhere from seven to nine points, half PPR. The problem is he's not finding his way into the end zone, man. 22 uh, receptions for 219 is not bad for Mr. Slant Boy. He just got to find his way into the end zone, and he's going to jump into the 20s as the wide receiver because the volume is definitely here. For me, at this point, we got to suggest keeping a Michael Thomas. They got to figure out this Derek Carr thing. I was shocked that Derek Carr started. I mean, it was it was check down day to Alvin Kamara all day long, and it's because Derek Carr's AC joint, man. You cannot throw the ball with the AC joint. What was the Saints thinking playing Derek Carr this past week? But I think keeping a Michael Thomas right now, keeping him as your flex wide receiver is still a good play, seven and nine points. You could do a lot worse than Michael Thomas. No kidding. Aaron Jones running back. Green Bay Packers, he was the running back, 14 ADP right now, ranked 34, his ROI minus 20 and his trend right now is on the down he had a terrible no volume show on uh, this past week versus the Detroit Lions killed a lot of y'all in fantasy football and I understand the frustration but if Aaron Jones they say he's gonna play you gotta play him this is part of fantasy football he's a stellar talent and he's gonna give you fabulous point productivity only 27 points right now 
And this man, okay, he's the dual threat, obviously, a PPR upside, especially in this offense with Green Bay where Jordan Love, Love, Love is feeling it. And, I mean, he's spreading the ball around decently. The wide receivers are getting into play. Once Aaron Jones is fully healed, he will get back on track. No kidding about that. You keep a Aaron Jones right now or you buy low. Definitely go send flyers to a manager that has an Aaron Jones to see what the appetite is to uh, ship him out off their team. And I would definitely buy low on Aaron Jones because once the health is back, you know he's going to be back in a very big way. Always been a fan of Aaron Jones. Brian Robinson, B-Rob. ADP running back 35. He is killing the return on investment right now. Plus 29. He is the running back six. His trend is flying up the board. Told y'all, man, you, you know, you hit, you know, more often than you fail when it comes to my predictions. You know, we're talking like 80-20 hit to fail right now for me. Brian Robinson has always been one of my guys. 60 points right now, and I told you all about this Washington Commanders team, the Commies, that they would be vastly improved. And I thought, okay, you know, the Buffalo Bills, I told you all they would get, the Bills would humble Sam Howell and these Commanders. I really didn't expect them to come out the way they did versus the Philadelphia Eagles. They looked impressive. They ran the ball. They threw the ball with consistency. Sam Howell is my guy, and this will only continue to get better in Washington with an Eric B. Enemy. They are running the football very well with Brian Robinson and an Antonio Gibson is basically off the radar. So barring any health, this is B-Rob's backfield. You are keeping him because running backs are definitely a premium. And I just continue to foresee his role uh, be uh, very much the what it is right now. And it still could increase with more touchdown upside. No kidding about that. George Pickens, wide receiver, Pittsburgh Steelers. His ADP to rank was basically where it's supposed to be right now. This is very rare. We don't see this. I was a big George Pickens supporter. Still am. I do believe he is an alpha wide receiver. Can take over games. It's just the offense is so bad under Matt Canada. We got to see what Mike Tomlin is going to do and uh, change. Hopefully, the offensive coordinator on this offense. Kenny Pickett does go down with that injury, so it could be Mitchie Biscuits, Mitchell Trubisky as a starting quarterback, which is maybe a positive because he will start throwing the ball uh, that much more to George George Pickens will see his trend right now is moving down on the wrong trend. I still believe that name cache here as well is decent enough to get something back in return. You got to trade a, a George Pickens for whatever you can get for right now. Even if you package deal him with somebody, it's enough to give another manager a wide receiver, potential wide receiver one on their offense. He is likely hovering around wide receiver, low end wide receiver two, wide receiver three numbers right now. But he's been steady where we thought he was going to be in the rank to ROI. But trading him right now, I don't dislike uh, getting him off your club right now because he's not doing you a whole heck of a lot of favors. Jordan Addison, the next one, Addy, my guy as well. A lot of my guys on this list right now because I'm hurting because you know why I draft these guys too. I, t I give you guys the advice. I have these guys on my team. I got plenty of shares of Jordan Addison and I'm still a believer. These past two contests, he's not been utilized the way that we expected for coming from the first two weeks of the season. This past week, he lays an absolute goose egg. Makes me look foolish for promoting his services. His trend is on the down. His ROI right now is a minus four. But he is a rookie, okay? And this offense is still continuing to pass the football. Yes, they finally won their first contest, which is good news. They will try to continue to throw the football that much more in Minnesota. Addison will not be stymied for much longer as he continues to move forward. I fully expect this next week to see a good heaping of targets coming his way. 13 receptions, 185. This could already be in the 300 mark if he had a good game this past week. 37 fantasy points. I'm saying keep or buy low. Definitely get Jordan Addison on your team right now. You're going to have many frustrated managers who want to get him off the roster. Definitely go send flyers out for an Addison. Keep him on your bench until further notice because he will once again pop off like we know he will. Rashad White running back, and I'm telling y'all, Running backs are a premium. We got to understand. We got to have them. We got to hold them. And it's tough in this sense because Rashad White still ROI on the plus six. He's been doing fairly well in this Buccaneers offense run by the bake show. He's got it going running pretty well. I mean, 56 attempts, 296 in yards, 5.3 on the average is very good for Rashad White. We cannot hate this whatsoever. He's been consistent, not great. And we want to see the top end productivity with more touchdowns come his way. 
But Rashad White is starting to figure it out just a little bit. Little bit. There is li literally no competition for this man in this backfield. I thought Sean Tucker would have a bigger role at this point. It is not coming to pass. So you know Rashad White's still going to keep it barring health for this man as well. But I do believe there's an upgrade to be had here. We can package deal a Rashad White with someone else and upgrade your running back. No kidding about that. Even somebody like an Aaron Jones potentially coming back from health, you could maybe send a package deal with a Rashad White to give that other manager some at least you know comfortability making up words again but at least Rashad White right now still has some good value to return on investment if you do hold him don't hate that uh, whatsoever as well but if you're looking to improve your roster Rashad White is definitely a chip a blue chip player that we could trade at this point man Raheem Mostert uh, Miami Dolphins this track team has been unbelievable, and likely if you drafted a Raheem Monster, you are smiling all the way to the bank. His ROI is a massive plus 38 right now. He is the running back two in half PBR leagues, and his ADP was running back 40. So you know you got two other stellar running backs on your roster right now, and Raheem Monster is likely your third running back, but producing like a running back one. The problem I have here with Raheem Mostert is a guy named Devin off the A-Chain. He changed his name. He's now A-Chan. You're messing with my nicknames, A-Chain. I'm still going to call him off the A-Chain, even though his name is A-Chan. But Raheem Mostert right now, the value to return, the trend is on the high. You got to understand, if you are this team that's 2-2, two 3-1, and 1-2, two, and one, one and or 1-3, and three, <clears throat> now's an opportunity to trade a Raheem Mostert and sell him high because you will not get this value back. Yes, I understand the production has been absolutely stellar. They still will split uh, touches in this backfield be between Mostert and HN. No kidding about that. However, you will injuries happen to Mostert all the time. You want to gain your value back? You can trade him super high right now and get a boatload in return when it comes to a package of running backs and wide receivers to a run running back, hungry, needy team. I'm definitely shopping a Raheem Mostert, selling him high right now. See what I could get back in return. Do not ship him away for pennies. You get the best value to return that you can for Raheem Mostert because 82.9 points is nothing to sneeze at for this uh, uh, fantasy football running back. Two unbelievable season so far to start for Raheem Mostert. Last one I got is DJ Moore, wide receiver, Chicago Bears. Okay, the Bears looked better than uh, they have all season this past week versus the Denver Broncos. Justin Fields where has this been all season he looked a lot better yes the turnover still came but he looked more confident was slinging the ball like we knew and uh, DJ Moore has been a favorite target of his right now DJ Moore's ROI is a plus seven he's on the up and down trends for me right now you're waiting for garbage time a lot of the time for DJ Moore to give you those points that's why there's a slight downtrend but this past week he looked absolutely stellar is the wide receiver 13 and half PBR leagues 51.6 points He's a tough one. I don't mind trading him as well, but right now I think you got to keep a DJ more. Wide receiver 13 is not, uh, you know, terrible whatsoever, and he is giving you the wide receiver two numbers that we require in half PBR leagues. If you can ship him because you think this uh, Bears offense is not sustainable for the season, I understand, but right now I'm keeping a DJ more because I think that he's at least showing that he is the primary target in this offense, even in garbage time, and he will give you at least decent flex numbers to wide receiver two numbers. But there you have it. That is Keeper trade as we enter week number five it's very uh, interesting how these teams are moving how they're going how they're morphing and we need to keep getting those wins so improving your roster is key as always but nevertheless as always don't forget to hit that like button hit that subscribe button jump in those comments give me your thoughts who y'all keeping who y'all trading you want some advice on trades throw them in the comments i'll definitely help you out but we'll see you next time i am out mm -hmm.